Encounter with Kabandha Rama and Lakshmana continued their search while wandering in the forest. They suddenly heard a terrific noise behind. They saw a huge monster coming out of the bushes. He had no head or legs, only a huge trunk covered with hair. He had only one eye in the middle of his breast and an ugly mouth in his breast, out of which projected two white curved fangs and between them a lolling tongue dripping blood. He had two long arms with the help of which he gathered his prey and thrust it into his mouth. Slowly his hands moved and encircled Rama and Lakshmana and tried to drag them towards his mouth. Sensing the danger, they cut off the arms and freed themselves. The monster yelled with pain and panted in a pool of blood. Then he cried, Who are you, sirs? The question surprised them. Lakshmana told him briefly who they were and asked him whether he could give any information about Sita. Then the monster replied, My name is Kabandha. Once I had a beautiful form, but due to my ego and pride, I was turned into a monster by a curse. By your grace, I have been freed from the curse. When I die, burn this body to ashes. Then I shall get back my original form and may be able to foresee things and tell you. When the monster slowly died, Rama and Lakshmana burnt it. There arose a celestial being from the ashes. He bowed to Rama and Lakshmana and said, O oh princess, go west from here and make friendship with Sugriva, who is living in Rishyamukha. With his help, you will regain Sita. On your way to Rishyamukha, you may also visit the hermitage of Shabri. The next day, the princess travelled towards the hermitage of Shabri on the banks of Lake Pampa. Rama walked barefooted. On the way, he found an ashram. It was the ashram belonged to the sage Matanga. From there, he heard a song praising him. Hey Rama, when do you come? Waiting here I am. I have become old. Come Rama, give me darshan. I shall offer you fruits. It was a song of a Behil woman, Shabri. She was humbly waiting for Rama for the past so many years. She was in deep devotion. Her hut was near the Pampa, a lake. Earlier, Sage Matanga, with his disciplines, performed austerities in that hermitage. Shabari had served them devotedly. When they departed from the earth, they instructed her to wait for Rama and serve him. Afterwards, she would attain heaven. Accordingly, this noble woman had waited for two years, living alone. She was always storing good nuts fruits and honey to offer Rama and Lakshmana. When they went, she immediately recognized that they were her long-expected guests and fell at their feet. She took them inside, washed their feet and offered them the nuts and fruits. Rama was moved by her devotion. He gently held the old woman's hand and shed tears of joy. He said, O Shabari, holy woman, your services to sages and your austerities I am sure have secured place in heaven. Shabari offered him homage and said, Yes, my lord, today my austerities have borne fruit. As I have seen you, I waited on this earth only to serve you. Give me permission to depart. She showed them around the lake and hermitage. Then she gave up her body and passed away in a form of dazzling brightness. The princess bowed and left the hermitage.